Okay, YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I've got a Furious 7 review coming. So what that is, is the movie Fast and the Furious 7 came out in 2015 and it had an accompanying soundtrack. Now back in the day, some of these songs were anchored by Ludacris and also various hip-hop artists. This dates back to 2001. Ja Rule was in that movie, but, you know, as things continued, it's always had kind of a hip-hop flavor to it, so I figured why not. Now, obviously, I think this is one of the more notable of the Fast and the Furious soundtracks. There's been seven of them, pretty much to every movie, and the large single that anchored this project was See You Again with Wiz Khalifa, so, and I think Charlie Puth, this song was a tribute to fa th those that were lost, and it wound up being one of the most gigantic songs of 2015. Now, originally I had intentions to cover it, but, you know, the rest of the album I just did not wind up liking, but luckily that is not such the case here. There's actually several, several songs on this project that have made, well, not... There's uh, there's a pretty good handful of songs that have made some noise on this album, like the Lil Jon song, Turn Down For What, the Going Down For Real by Flo Rida, Go Hard or Go Home with, once again, Wiz Khalifa and Iggy Azalea, and I think the song Ride Out. So, you know, out of 16 songs, most of the time soundtracks do not make this much noise, so... There's a lot of good things going for it, but the public's taste and my taste are two different things. That's the main thing. You may think, well, this charted four or five different times. Obviously, this should get a 10, but I, I, you know, I can confide to you that once you buy the album, you may not feel the same way. So, but luckily, you know, there's a lot to write home about. There's... Wiz Khalifa shows up twice, Lil Jon is on here, Prince Royce, Skylar Grey, uh, Juicy J, T.I. and Young Thug, and just a whole bunch of folks, Iggy Azalea, uh, Flo Rida, so, yeah, so once you get past all the noise about it, it, it does kind of feel like this is a, a treat, is kind of like a supplement to the movie, but also... You know, it, it kind of speaks, I think you can listen to this music without being obsessed with the movie. So that's another thing. So it actually, the reach extends. But I'm going to tell you the six or seven songs that I enjoyed. And then that you should probably listen to and then we'll discuss these more. So Turn Down for What? How Bad Do You Want It? Go Hard or Go Home, Going Down For Real, My Angel, Blast Off, See You Again. Now, Turn Down For What was one of the, that was the song that stood out the most to me. It's kind of more EDM, but it does it extremely well. Now, this is the kind of stuff that you would hear on a, a good, we'll say a good night, but... There's really not another song like it. I think DJ Snake is the one that did it, and he shows up again, but that one, that one kind of felt not... That one felt second-rate compared to this, the one with Lil Jon. So the unfortunate part is there's not too many people like Lil Jon who are known for yelling, so we really could have used another person like him, and it probably would have taken off a lot more. Go Hard or Go Home has Wiz Khalifa on here, and this one I think probably could have carried the album had See You Again not been on it. That one's pretty solid. It's kind of like ludicrous revisiting those days if Wiz Khalifa's the new guy for that. Uh, going Down For Real, you probably should have heard the song outside of hearing it on the soundtrack. It's actually a remix that's on this one, and it, it is appreciative. I was not aware of Prince Royce. He's a Latin musician, but he had only dropped like 
Latin albums, but he dropped an English album back in 2015. So I'm thinking I'm going to look into some of the stuff he does. I think he also, I looked it up, he does EDM and that sort of stuff. So there might be some extra thing. So yeah, he's kind of the R&B for the album. Skylar Gray, Seven Streeter, and uh, Prince Royce are some of the R&B. They slow things down in addition to See You Again, which also does. So there is some R&B on here. And... I am thinking about looking into Seven Streeter's music because I remember she had a song that charted back in 2014, but I didn't pay attention to it. So I'm going to see what's up with her, but I did like the taste of it. Most of this, most of this music is really in your face and I, that, that would be for good reason. So you, you don't have to worry about, there are songs on here that do show more you know more shades to the personality than let's get started but that's that's kind of the main ingredient so but you know of course this is also one of the more fun things to do so you just you pick your issue here i give this album a four and a half out of ten and i guess i could give it a five but seven out of four and a half out of ten will do Social score I will give a six and a half out of ten because of all the large songs there there were over four and yeah so that you know it's got a good look this was just good bounds for most people you get some real good stuff on here um the future there's going to be a fast and the furious eight so that's coming out probably next year i'm not aware of the details on it but stay look out for that and can this record be topped i did like the the how this record was organized i mean it really knew the type it, it was good at reading what people were going to want i think that that's the main thing is it had the songs it just did not have the quality down. Like, the feel of the music was something that is really pretty much A minus, B plus grade. But this, the, some of the, the artists who pull it off are just not entirely doing it. So, but it did have a great understanding of how to get you up and motivated. And, you know, I, I do like, and there were, there were several DJs on here, DJ Snake and DJ Shadow, a couple of these cats. So, you know, I do, you know, now that DJs are kind of making noise for themselves, I do like the sound of this, but I would like to see more songs like Turn Down For What. So that's really the thing. But all right, subscribe for more fun.